Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Tips and Tricks video. Tonight's video is going to be episode 5 of my How to Improve or Get Better at Modern Warfare series. And in this episode, we're going to be specifically talking about kill streaks in this game, covering everything you need to know about these kill streaks, which ones are the best in this game for different playstyles, the best for getting more kills, and also with these perk 2s because there's three options of perk 2 that can help you earn these score streaks or kill streaks faster. They're mainly kill streaks, but then one of these perk twos can change them into score streaks. We're going to talk about all that stuff and more in tonight's video, specifically focusing on this. I know you guys really do enjoy these tips and tricks videos in the series, so please drop a like on this thing. Let's go ahead and go for 972 likes. That would be amazing if we could hit that subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. On that road to a million subscribers, we're getting really cr close. The uh, growth has, has been absolutely amazing lately, so thank you to everyone. Shout out to everyone new subscribing, everyone hitting that like button. I really, really do appreciate it, y'all. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So first of all, let's go ahead and break down these perk twos because as far as getting kill streaks in this game now this is a game where modern warfare and infinity ward games traditionally have revolved around big big streaks if we look at a game like of course let's think about the first modern warfare that was before they had custom streaks so there wasn't really a conversation in that you just had your three five seven modern warfare 2 when they came out with custom streaks was absolutely insane you had your pavlo you had your harrier you had your ac-130 you had your chopper gunner and almost all of those things well actually all of those that i just mentioned exist in this game as well, just in sort of a different sort of repackaging or in a different version. Modern Warfare 3, we look at a game like that, had super duper strong streaks as well. And honestly, Treyarch games too. I mean, if we look at COD Ghost, had, you know, not the best streaks. Uh, IW had some pretty good streaks. A lot of the, the Treyarch Black Ops games have had some very, very strong air support streaks. And this game is no different. This Modern Warfare game, it reminds me a lot of Modern Warfare 2. I would say a mix of Modern Warfare 2 and Ghost as far as the streaks, which I mean, there's some really, really big power hit and then there's also some sleepers that are kind of like, uh, they're not really for my style. Or they're not really for, uh, you know, stacking the kills. They're more for having fun or utility for a casual player, stuff like that. So in this game, uh, kill streaks are the key. You cannot cycle through your kill streaks, which means once you earn that top streak, it's done. You cannot, uh, and by cycle through the kill streaks, I know some people always try to comment this. Uh, I just want to clarify. I don't mean you can't select your kill streak. You can't, you can select your kill streak with the D-pad. By cycling streaks, I mean that in other previous CODs, for most of the Cods we've had since MW2, when you get that top streak, you could start earning that first streak again and keep going through them, which was so damn fun. But in this game, of course, it's made for more casual players. And they basically said, you know what? If you're a good player that does that, screw you. We're taking that out. And I mean, I guess it makes sense because the streaks are super duper strong in this game. And if you could cycle through them, I mean, you, you would get some really, really dominating performances where people would just post up and just cycle just big, big air support over and over in Ground War or 10v10. Anyway, I'm trying to say that air support is the key to this game. A lot of the streaks are manual, which means you have to actually operate them, which isn't my personal favorite. I like the game like, let's say, uh, BO2, where it's, uh, you can call in your uh, swarm, your dogs, or VSAT, swarm, and dogs, which was so nice because you could still be on the ground fighting people as your streaks are just stacking those kills. In a game like this, the best streaks are going to be ones where you're actually going to have to pull out that iPad and operate them yourself. But how do you get these streaks? When it comes down to perk 2, in the perk 2 slot, there's three different perks that are uh, available for getting your streaks faster. The first one is Hardline. Now, Hardline is very, very self-explanatory. One less kill for each streak. That's basically it. So if you want to go for a streak that costs 10 kills, now it costs 9. And that's what it does for your three streaks. They each cost one less kill. Very, very simple. Honestly, I don't think Hardline is very good in this. I don't think it's the best in this game. I think it's more useful if you're using, let's say, like the lower streaks, like a personal UAV and then a UAV and then a cruise missile. So let's say you're using like a 345, you can turn that down into a 234. That can be helpful so you can get them more often in your lot in, in each life. But really when it comes down to it, if you're going for the, the big streaks or the streaks that do big damage to get you high kills, hardline is pretty much one you'll, you're going to want to avoid. Hardline is one that you, is more for, uh, I'd say like a, a lower non-lethal sort of setup or just the lower streaks in general where that one kill actually matters. You know, the, the difference between getting two kills and three kills is gonna happen on a significant portion of your lives. The difference between getting 9 kills and 10 kills, that's not going to be, if you if that happens, you basically choke the streak, and you should sort of just uh, camp up or play safe when you get to that 9, um, you know, instead of uh, rushing out there, instead of just saving yourself one extra kill. The other one is going to be Kill Chain, and Kill Chain, this is my personal favorite, if you are going to pick a perk 2 for stacking streaks. Now, what Kill Chain does is it makes these streaks work like how they do in Modern Warfare 2, where if I call in a streak and it gets a kill, that works its way up. So let's say I call in a streak at, at 5, 
five kills, I get I get a, a streak. I call in my missile and it gets a three kills. Boom, my eight kill streak VTOL is already ready to go, just like it was in Modern Warfare 2. Now they do not help you to get the nuke. The nuke you still have to get with all gun kills, but this is super duper helpful. And with kill chain, it really comes down to there's so many different good combos that you can do with pairing things together. For example, what I did in my last video with the uh, PP19 Bison is I rocked with the VTOL, which was an eight, and then I think I rocked with the uh, support helo at 11 and then the advanced at 12. And basically, I would use kill chain. So once I got eight kills, I knew the VTOL can probably get me four kills. So I would just run to the back, let, you know, play it safe, post up uh, once I get the eight kills and let it let the uh, air support go in to get me up to basically earn those uh, that four difference for free to get me that advanced UAV. Unless you're choking, you're, you shouldn't be dying too often while using that. And kill chain is one that you can really, if you're having trouble getting your streaks, but you have some that really get a lot of kills, you can use those to stack up. You know, if you want to go for a juggernaut, probably you want to go with kill chain. You run like a VTOL. You run a chopper gunner or something, or, or, or not necessarily the chopper gun. I'm not sure how the chopper gunner works with stacking streaks on kill chain. Um, but if I, I actually don't know how that works because it's if that I mean I guess it would work just like everything else because you really can't take it that much higher. I mean you get the chopper gunner at 10, you can stack yourself up to 15. I mean I guess that could be useful, you know. Uh, or you use a VTOL and then you use a 11 streak uh, support helo. You call those two things in. You sit back. You're pretty much guaranteed to get out of those two at least a couple kills to earn yourself up to the 15, and then you get the juggernaut. So kill chain definitely I think is the one to go to if you want to get streaks more often. Uh, and the next one is going to be point man, which I did use a bit in this gameplay. You know, I've tested out all of these things. And point man turns your kill streaks into score streaks like we had in a lot of the Treyarch games and the Black Ops series, all that sort of stuff. And score streaks are kind of cool. I see a lot of people requesting score streaks. However, it makes them cost more. So for an example here, the this is my 8, 10, and uh, this is my, uh, I think, 8, 10, and 11 kill streaks, or 8, 10, and 12, is it? Uh, not necessarily sure. I think it's, yeah, 8, 10, and 12. This is for the VTOL, and then this is for the uh, Chopper Gunner, and then the Gunship. So 8, 10, and 12, they become 1,000. 1250 and 1500 so it makes you have to get you know if, if each kill is 100 you do have to get more points but on the other hand you get extra sometimes for kills you get 125 you get points for capturing and this is mainly for if you want to play objectively like the, the way i used it in this gameplay it really wasn't it wasn't worth it it just wasn't worth it i think that the probably the only ways that uh this would be worth it a point man as far as a perk two would be if you're playing like ground war playing around the, like those buildings with the flags you're killing people around those quite often you can be stacking points off that that, or possibly when we get hard point coming to which I'm hoping it'll come out to uh, public matches I, I'm hoping it does who knows if it even will because I mean I guess hard point was made by Treyarch and we're Infinity Ward and we want you to play that I mean who knows what these guys are doing but I hope they have hard point in this game in public matches um, that would be good too because you can uh, cycle on the hill basically go on and off the hill kill people on the hill and get more points for that point man is probably pretty much only useful uh, only prioritized if you are playing a heavy heavy objective uh, other than that, you'd probably be better off with uh, any of the other perk twos uh, as far as it goes. Now, when it comes to the actual kill streaks, that's how you can earn these streaks. Now, when it comes down to actual kill streaks, what are the best streaks in this game? Now, a non-lethal sort of setup, a personal radar, a UAV, which is a three, a four, and then a 12 for the advanced UAV, isn't very useful in this game because non-lethals war sort of came to a, a prominent rise in a game like Black Ops 2. UAV counter VSAT. And you would just cycle those things and get nuked out. It was a lot of fun. It's not the same in this game. You get that advanced UAV, that's going to help you. It's going to advanced UAV is very, very effective in this game, but it helps you for 30 seconds. And from four kills on your UAV up to 12, you don't really get much help, right? You get one UAV. So I, I don't think non lethals is really, really that effective in this game, especially also because Ghost is so damn strong. People just stack Ghost. Now, as far as mid level kill streaks, let's say you're a, a player that can't earn these super duper high kill streaks, or you don't want to camp as much or post up as much to earn them. What are some good mid mid-level killstreaks in this game. Now, honestly, a lot of this, I mean, most of this is all around air support, and you have to remember when one, like, for example, you cannot have two killstreaks that cost five five kills. You can only pick one for each kill number. So some streaks that are nice for the mid-level, I would say, would probably be something like uh, a cluster strike or a cruise missile. Both of those are fairly good, and they come in at uh, five points, as well as the precision airstrike. Honestly, I think all three of those point, uh, five kill streaks are kind of nice in this game, and you have to pick 
pick what you want to use based on how you call it in. That that's the thing. I wish all these kill streaks were called in with the iPad, but they're not. When you run out and, and you have to call in some of these streaks, you really have, I mean, one of them you call in with a laser pointer, another one you have to use binoculars. It's pretty whack how you call in these streaks. You kind of have to risk your life. And I think that these airstrikes can be very effective if you're looking for like a mid level setup on, let's say, like a ground war. So let's say I want a mid-level kill streak setup. I'm running kill chain. I would probably go with something such as a. Let's say you could use something like a cluster strike, and then you could get yourself up from the cluster strike up onto a uh, infantry assault rifle. I mean, I don't I don't know about the the seven kill streaks for an infantry assault rifle or anything like that. I would probably say you would want to go with a sentry gun as far as a, a seven. Um, so I would say let's let's say we go with the cluster strike at five, then we go up to a sentry gun at seven, and then we go into an eight kill streak with the VTOL jet. Those those are streaks you can earn fairly consistently that are going to do very well for you if you want that mid-level score streaks but or kill streaks. But honestly, if you want to go for the big, big kills and the big damage, they are up at the very top. And they are in terms of the manual streaks instead of the automatics. Now, like I said earlier, where I prefer streaks that you call in and they just go ham, I like the VTOL jet. I like, you know, something like a support helo. Um, another thing you can just call in would be a white phosphorus. But in reality, those streaks, and you can check in your combat record. I've been using all the streaks and checking in my combat record record how many kills I'm getting out of each of them. The VTOL jet has been very effective for me. I've been getting, I think, like four or five kills out of each of those, which is so damn good for an eight kill streak. But then when it comes down to a support helo, which is your paid low at 11, I'm getting like an average of four kills out of my support helo at an 11 kill streak when that's an, and that's an automatic kill streak, which I love. But then out of a manual streak, like a chopper gunner, I'm averaging, I think it's eight or nine kills. Same thing with the gunship. So if you use a support helo paid low level 11, uh, and you that gives you, uh, four, let's say four or five kills on average maybe maybe they've just been unlucky for me who knows you know but as of right now this is just i'm speaking from my experience it's it doesn't do as much damage and then if i go for a 10 or 11 kill streak those can get me almost up to double digits in each kills the the choice is simple even though i'm a player that really would prefer streaks i could just call in and stay on the map you kind of have to go with chopper gunner and the gunship as your big big two especially in a 10 v 10 or in a ground war match which people are playing quite a lot because of how how much damage they can do so my best kill streak setup, and this is definitely, in my opinion, the best streak setup if you're going for high, if you want to go for high kills, if you want to, uh, like, like I said, 10v10 or ground war, even on some 6v6 maps, you just have to make sure it's a map that doesn't have as many buildings. Uh, if you're playing in something with more buildings, you kind of just screwed and you kind of have to use those manual streaks uh, and then rush them and get them out of the, um, or use, use the automatic streaks and then rush them and get them out of their buildings uh, by, with your gunplay, right? You can sort of tell when you call in streaks, people are going to start to camp. But uh, if there's more enemies, if there's 10 or 32 enemies, I don't care if two of them are hiding in the building when I'm spawn trapping the other eight with my chopper gunner or my gunship. So when it comes down to, in my opinion, the best score streak setup if, or kill streak setup, if you want to go for the most kills, it's got to be with the, uh, uh, with the VTOL the chopper gunner, and then the gunship. That is the best streak setup I've been running the most. Um, and then honestly, if you want to, I kind of don't like that because you have to use two manual streaks. It, it is kind of painful. If you want to just use one manual streak, then I would say the chopper gunner. I think the chopper gunner is super, super duper good. It's I don't know if the chopper gunner is better than the gunship, but it takes two kills less. So I'd say they're kind of very similar. So I would use like a VTOL, a chopper, and then a support helo or an advanced UAV, which then I, I take away having to stop and waste two, or not, not necessarily waste because I'm getting a ton of kills, but not being active in the game because I'm sitting in an iPad in the back destroying the enemies. So that's what I would go with as far as these streaks. Something like a white phosphorus can be very effective on ma uh, games where there's a ton, ton, ton of players as well. But the thing is, is that's in the same category as the chopper gunner which is arguably the best streak in the game so you kind of don't want to swap out for that and that's really something that you know it comes down to uh same thing with counter uav and uav they're in the same category but at the same time counter uav is pretty whack in this game because you have to pick where on the minimap it disables it's not like back in the day where you just call on a counter uav and just start absolutely wrecking people so that's what i would say as far as these streaks if you do have trouble going for these bigger streaks like i said kill chain could be your key so you could rock with a cluster strike then a VTOL, then a chopper gunner. That's more of a mid to high setup, but really it revolves around these big, big streaks. Another thing is the juggernaut. The juggernaut can be really, really effective if you're played in like a free-for-all or TDM. You just call that thing in, just start absolutely wrecking people, listening for their footsteps and taking them out. But that's not really my style, as well as the, you know, other things like a wheel sun or these big tanks that you can call in. In my opinion, it's like, I don't know why I would really run a tank kill streak in 10v10 or 6v6, when if you want to play with tanks, I mean, just hop into ground war, you don't even have to get a kill 
kill streak, they're pretty much free. Now, in terms of 6v6, uh, like I said, it's more around in those in a 6v6, that's where you'd be more inclined to use something like a UAV because it's less predictable. In a 10v10 or 32v32, you can pick a part of the map and sort of play it and you're going to get action. In a 6v6, you sort of have to move to the action and that's where if I'm playing in something like that in a, in a non-objective, let's say a TDM or, 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 you, or a free-for-all, definitely sticking with things like a UAV or even a personal radar, I don't, although I don't think the personal radar is the best in this game. I think the UAV, of course, is a lot better. Um, that stuff can be fairly effective in a game mode like that. Anyway, that's what we have as far as these kill streaks. Like I said, these big ones remind me a lot of Modern Warfare 2 because they're just so damn strong. And then some of these weaker ones or sort of gimmicky ones remind me a lot of Ghost. I tend to stay away from that. I know a lot of them can be fun, but personally, I'm into more. If I'm going to use a manual streak, if I'm going to take time out of me running around the map, it's not going to be for me to sit in a tank or for me to call in a, a wheel sun or whatever it's going to be. It's going to be for me to call in the big, big, big boys, uh, Chopper Gunner and gunship which the gunship is basically the ac-130 another tip for this stuff is these things take practice the missiles on the ac-130 the, the chopper gunner you know if you're someone that's been playing call of duty for years you can really get the hang of it easily but if you're not and you haven't played those games like mw2 mw3 where these streaks were important and you got a lot of practice in you can go into custom games you can test out these streaks practice against uh basically robots you know set up combat training and learn the spawns so you can predict where they're going to be spawning in your mode so you can sort of preemptively fire those big rockets and also just get good with these streaks because it does sort of take skill that is the thing about manual streaks while i don't like them because it takes me out of the game it is kind of cool because it does take skill if you're a good chopper gunner player you're going to average much more kills with the chopper gunner on average than other players and of course it all depends on the the map and mode and how many buildings there are and and how you can infiltrate out of the buildings another last tip i'll, I'll say before leaving this is a long video i'm pretty much giving you guys everything here like you guys got to drop a like for this come on i'm giving you guys everything you need to know about these streaks in this game and i think this stuff will really help you guys out but the last tip I was gonna say if you're playing with a friend this is something I talked about I think in a video a long time ago but uh, or like a, it hasn't been a long and not a long time ago this game hasn't even been out for that long but I've been just making so many vids um, anyway it's basically where, let's say I call in a gunship or a chopper gunner and I'm playing with a friend of mine or two friends of mine. Now, I have access to see where all the enemies are that don't have cold-blooded or whatever it is. And if they are hiding in a building, I basically just yell it to my teammate, yo, they're in the back left building. My teammate can run in there and sort of try to take them out. And on the on the other side of that, if my friend or my teammate has the those streaks, he can do the same for me and call out so then I can push, sort of clear those enemies out so he can get more people in his spawn trap with the big streaks and also get yourself a couple gun kills. Anyway... I know this was a longer video. Uh, I, I want to just talk and go in-depth. This is, this is what I do. I talk about stuff. I go in-depth. And I want to break it down so you guys can understand. And I want everyone to have the best experience on this game. And big streaks are how you're going to get the more kills. And how you're going to get up to those big streaks is revolving around picking stuff that's, you know, around your skill level that you can actually earn. And using the right perk too, if any, to help earn those. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm out. Peace.